Hello everyone, how are you all? So today's session is going to be very interesting session. We will start with the UI. So we will learn how in Appian we will build the UI using the interfaces. What is interface? How we can use the interface? What are the things in the interface? Components and various other things. Okay, so I have selected this interface in this object type and let Let's create a new interface. So interface is basically just same as the rule, but here we put all the components to make it as a UI and we use the interface using the rule bank only like this we are using in which we are using in rule expression. Okay, so it will save in this empty interfaces and let's create this. So what we are doing today, we are creating an interface. My interface name is empty login try and I will create a form. So this is the top level layout. There are three top level layouts, forms, card headers and billboards. I will show you each of them. So form is basically a type of form in which buttons are there cancel button and submit button and a heading and in between there are components control z card header in card header there are there is a box basically in which we can insert various other cards we will use this as a subcomponent somewhere while we using the cards and billboard is basically like when we are creating some site when we are creating some big ui then a picture is there in the background we can change this picture and the sub sections are there we can use this layouts you can see that now the most out outermost layout has gone this layout has come sections column side by side the box card billboard and we can use this and we can insert these sections into this okay so for now Let's remove this. I have done all control Z. So there are two types of mode in this interfaces. One is designer mode, design mode, and other one is expression mode. In design mode, we will do all the things by drag and drop. Here it is written that drag and drop from palette. And these are some of the templates which we are pre which are pre-built in this, and we can use this. So for example, let me use this sales dashboard i've clicked this, clicked this and you can see this how interesting is this interface the ui is amazing everything every component is in line it is a just amazing interface which we are using so control z and let's create a form so I have drag and drop this form. Let's go to the expression mode to understand how coding works for the interfaces and what are the functions which we are using in the interfaces. In this you can see this form layout. A bank form layout is there. After clicking on that side, we will get all the details about this. That what are the things we need to pass in this and what are the other options available in that like in button we will use this so it is written here already it's just a helpful helpful text we can go through it whenever we want and let's rename this form okay so i have renamed this form and there are only buttons are there in this okay so you are able to see the content part is empty okay in this form layout there are labels instructions we can use whatever we want and we can pass the details like contents there are there are no contents for now so what we can do is we can create a con content and a back text field we can create we can put the label label is mandatory not mandatory label 
will provide the definition clearly and value so value for now just remove value i'll explain you this value thing so as you are able to see this i have created this text box here so when i'll write something in this like for example i have written my name okay and i click outside the box so it is gone the values value is not saving so we need to save this value okay somewhere we need to save this value so we will use this save into and where we will save we don't know how we will save this so we have options we have two options basically we have the local variables and we have rule inputs okay so local variables when we talk about the local variables local variable as name suggests that it is local we will use this variable inside the interface only like i'll create it control a control x a bank local variable and local new akshay okay and okay so local variable you already know everyone knows that in local variable first we can use this list of local variables okay after that we will need to use this expression so here in the expression is the whole interface okay so i have copy pasted the error is coming because i have used this save into let's remove this okay so now the error is gone and you can see here the list of local variable has updated and the values is already there what if we will not give the value we will not give the value it will come as a come as a blank no issue okay when we click on test then it will got updated okay it is coming null so you can see these gray lines why these gray lines are coming these gray lines are coming because we are not using these local variables anywhere in our interface okay so we need to use them how we will use them we will now we will use save into save into and we will directly for this local variable okay like pass pass is empty so we are using pass so the gray line is gone now you can see this and save into is like when i will create let's write something and it will update it okay so when i'll refresh it the value is gone okay so it works in the interface only we can we are not we cannot take this local variable outside the interface for that purpose we have rule inputs let's create a rule inputs username this is the data type option available there are lot of data type but these are some of the most most used data types are there let's use the text array if we want multiple values and create it and let's create another rule input password text and create it so we have two rule inputs now and when we have, we are having the rule inputs we can use these rule inputs outside the interface like in process model basically we will go to the process model in the next video but let's explore this for now so apart from these local variables let's now save value into this ra bank username okay so the value will be saved value will got saved let's write pass and you can see the value bar pass got into this username okay so what about this now the value is gone okay the value is saved here but the value from this is gone so we need some value to be present here so there is value for this and what we can do is we can use this ri bank username okay so first we will save this check value into the ri input and then it will be here in the username also so here these are two fields which we will use for save and value 
okay so this is how it works this is how the rule input works this is how local variable works and this is interface now i think everyone got the idea got the basic idea what we are doing what we are doing in this interface and let's talk about the buttons so what buttons is doing basically buttons there is some summit button is also there let's use this narrow because it is going so wide and now let's use this one now it is clear okay so submit button you can see this save into is not there pre by default there is blank save into and the value is true okay so when with the value will come value will always come when we clicked it okay so it it works this way you can check this rule input rule input will be there i think cancel rule input is not there i don't know why but let's it is okay and these buttons we are using the a bank button layout for this for the whole button layout and button widget for many other like we can also create a lot of buttons in this comma and copy paste so there will be two buttons now okay so this is how interface works and we can create the interface in this way if you don't want to use the local variable we can remove it this is extra so we have removed the local variables we are only using rule inputs here so like this what we have done for a uh, this username we can also do the same thing in this for the password okay and value i'll change it password okay. so this is how interface works i hope you all got some idea about this or this page about these option these are the options which we can change to see the ui that how ui looks in the different size of monitors tablets desktop whatever so now we have created the interface and in the interface we have created a login page and we know about all these things all the sections on the designer mode the expression mode lo local variables tool inputs and we will use this interface in the process model so process model is basically the main root of apn inside of the process model we use interfaces expression rules and other objects to make it a process so we will learn about the process model in the next video and you will get some clarity about this interfaces and how to use these interfaces how to use rule inputs in the process model video thank you so much and see you all in the next video bye bye